Hi. In this video, I wanted to take a look at uh, 2003 question one, and in particular, part of this question where I'm looking at the volumetric analysis aspect of it. So let's get right into it. And we're told that we're dissolving an iron uh, two uh, tablet in 250 cubic centimeters of uh, the, uh, sorry, using the uh, water and um, uh, sulfuric acid, and then we are titrating that again with a 0.01 molar solution of uh, potassium manganate. So um, in the titrations, 25 uh, cubic centimeters portions of iron solution were made and they required the 13.9 cubic centimeter centimeters uh, solution of potassium uh, permanganate. Uh, so we have to calculate the uh, concentration of iron, the mass of iron and the percentage mass of iron in each tablet. So I need to remember my fundamental titration formula. And then rather than using acid and base, I'm just going to use V1 and V2. So in the formula, I'm told that V1 um, uh, times molarity of the first solution over the number of moles taking part in the reaction from the first solution is equal to V2 M2 over N2. So we need to find out all those quantities in here. So, um, the first thing that I would want to find out is the number of moles of iron that are taking part in this solution. Now, I don't know much about this, uh, and actually this is something that I need to find out, so that's all right. Um, so I know that volume of um, solution of iron is 25 cubic centimeters. Um, molarity of the solution is something I'm trying to find out, so that's fine. M1 equals two question mark. And then the uh, number of moles of iron taking part in that reaction is five. So N1 is equal to five. And V2 is uh, clearly given to be 13.9. And uh, then N2 is equal to um, one. And then finally, a molarity of the second solution is given to us as well. It's 0 0.01. Solving it for M1, I'm going to get an expression that M1 equals to V2 M2 times N1, all that divided by V1. So putting the quantities in 13.9 uh, times 0 0.01 and then, uh, times 5 and then 2 V1 other divided by uh, one uh, times 25 gives me a um, quantity of um, 0 0.0278 moles per liter, uh, moles per liter of iron uh, in this solution. So that's the concentration of iron two in moles per liter. Now the mass of iron in one tablet is an interesting question to find out. For that, I need to know how much iron uh, is dissolved in the solution to make up 0.278 moles. So uh, I know that the relative molecular mass of iron is equal to 56 grams. And if that's the case, then um, mass, um, mass of iron dissolved in the solution will be equal to 0 0.0278 times 56 and that's equal to um, 1.556 grams. So now if this uh, solution was made out of pure iron, the amount of pure iron that we would require to form the solution would be 1.5568 uh, grams. But obviously it's not made out of pure iron, it's made out of iron tablets. And we know that um, we require four tablets so we require four tablets for 250 cubic centimeters. And if we wanted to make up uh, 1000 cubic centimeters, we would require obviously 16 tablets. So then what that means is that mass of iron per tablet is equal to 1.5568 
mass of iron that would make up one, um, one liter divided by number of tablets required to make up the same solution in one liter divided by 16 and that is equal to um, 0 0.0973 0 0.0973 gram of iron per tablet so now I know that I'm using 0.0973 grams of iron per tablet and I know that mass of tablet is equal to uh, 0.36 gram so then percentage iron is equal to mass of iron in the tablet 0.0973 per mass of the tablet which is 0.36 and if I calculate that I'm going to get the percentage of iron is equal to 27.02 percent and that's that so starting from the volumetric analysis I was able to arrive at the concentration of iron in the tablet and that's it as far as this video is concerned if uh, you have uh, any questions about that please feel free to leave a comment under this video or uh, send me a DM. And um, thank you for watching. This is Mr. Olzek, out.